and now watching your breath without forcing or controlling, but simply observing the natural flow of your inhalation and exhalation. Noticing if the inhalation is longer than the exhalation or the exhalation is longer than your inhalation. And take one more deep inhalation through the nose and exhale through the mouth. And remain completely still as much as possible, simply watching your breath. There is something amazing about uh, feeling stronger or strengthening. It makes you feel very confident, perhaps you feel more grounded and stable. But as we are practicing yoga, we understand that strength is coming from within. More stable you are, more compassionate you are, more you are willing to open your heart, that means you are grounded. Your lower chakras, the lower channels in your body are stable. That is less uh, fears, that is less um, greedy, you're a really more kind and compassionate person and that's what makes you stronger. That's what uh, helps you to accept the challenges the life, the, the life uh, brings to you. So let's take this moment to also embrace the love and compassion as you are embracing and uh, getting in touch with your willpower by simply sitting quietly and still watching your breath in and out. And take one more deep inhalation through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. bring your palms together in the center of your heart. Maybe you'd like to bring your palms to your chest and touch your heart. See what works for you today. When you place your hands over your chest, and touching your heart is another opportunity to um, feel as you, that is a gesture, to really feel and embrace the connection from your body to your breath and body, mind, breath and spirit connected. So all the bodies in your body are connected at this very moment. And with this connection, let's um, take a moment to be grateful, to appreciate especially this moment. And today, let's say in collective, uh, in the group settings, you are coming to your practice, you are coming to your mat with the intention to um, develop more strength in it, that means recognize and embrace your willpower. But the foundation of your willpower is love and compassion, it's kindness. So as you're balancing those energies, you feel more grounded, more stable, more content and joyful. Shanti the cosmic sound vibration and mantra three times. Inhale. Gently open your eyes, release your hands, place your hands on the floor, come to your hands and knees. Very good. 
make sure that your wrists are beneath your shoulders. Gently look towards your right heel, right foot. And look to the left. Again, look to the right. And look to the left. Back to center and look at take a moment to look to your fingers. Spread your fingers on the floor, pushing the palms into the earth. Inhale now, arch in the back, look up. And as you exhale, round your spine, looking towards your belly button. Inhale, arch in the back, look up. Exhale, round your spine, looking towards your belly button. One more time here, inhale, arch in the back, look up. And exhale, round your spine and sit back in your child's pose. And take a moment in child's pose. Remember, child's pose is an opportunity for you to reset, to rest, to reconnect with your breath, with your intentions and offerings for today. And slowly come back to your hands and knees. And now you need to walk your hands a little far away from you so the hands are not going to be aligned with your um, shoulders. And you need to move the hips, moving the hips forward and back, forward and back. Forward and back, circles, circling the hips, forward and all the way back, forward and all the way back. Try to go as low as you can. And let's go to the other side, moving your hips on this Monday morning. Circles, make sure you're making circles, circles, yes. Last one, and press back into your child's pose. Now let's do more activation, active child's pose. Use your claw hands like a spider hands. Fingertips on the floor, lift your elbows, and place your forehead on the ground. So the shoulders are moving away from your ears. You're reactivating your arms, but it's still resting your lower back, creating space in the lower back. And slowly start to come to your hands and knees, pressing the palms into the floor, tuck your toes under, and then start moving to your first downward dog. So come to the balls of your feet, bend your knees, and focus first in the upper body, spreading the fingers, pressing the palms uh, into the earth, pressing the chest into your thighs. Relax your neck and keep your gaze towards your toes of knees. And slowly start to press your right heel down and left heel down. Press your right heel down, left heel down. Gently move your neck, yes, yes, no, no, as your cuddle. Very good. Inhale now, come to your plank, come into your hands and knees. Pushing the palm is the same energy you had before, but now your legs are straight. And exhale, you press back into your downward dog. And now move your body in any way you'd like to, you need to on this downward dog. Maybe moving your hips from one side to the other. <sighs> Taking your deep inhalations and deep exhalations. Very good, now gently place your knees down and begin to sit over the heels, over the block, your pillow if you need to sit, need a support to sit. Very good, place your hands, palms up, bring your thumbs and index finger together and slide your hands all the way towards the hips so the elbows are moving back. Very good, again to do fire breathing exercise, breathing in and out very fast through the nose. Okay, a few times and in the end, you're going to hold the breath. So exhale completely. Go ahead, in and out very fast. Inhale completely, inhale, 
Now hold your breath, lifting the chest, gently bring your chin towards your chest. One, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Lift your chin, exhale completely. Two normal breaths, breathing in through the nose and breathe out through the nose. Inhale, exhale, one more time, fire breathing exercise, go ahead. Exhale completely. Inhale. Now hold your breath, lifting the chest, to gently bring your chin to your chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Lift your chin. Exhale completely. Two normal breaths in and out, breathing in. Lengthening the spine, breathe out. One more inhale. Exhale. Slowly, gently release your hands. Come back to your hands and knees. Tuck your toes under and lift your seat all the way up and start to walk all the way forward, feet apart in the front of your mat. Release here, folding forward, gently softening the knees, move your neck again, maybe move your body from one side to the other. Inhale, lengthening halfway, come back to center. Engage in the abdominal muscles, bend your left knee, bring your left fingertips right beneath your nose, so you're using the claw hands again, the spider hand, raising the right arm all the way up, Twisting to the right or opening your body to the right. Bend your left knee, look up if you can, if it's okay for your neck. Slowly lower down the right hand, place your right fingertips beneath your face, bend your right knee and raise your left arm all the way up. Open, open, open your shoulder. And then slowly bring your left hand down, come to your squat position. Gently turn down to your toes if you need, interlace your fingers and begin to massage your wrists. Just massage your wrists, very good. And the other way, massage your wrists. Shake a little bit and begin to massage the forearms, so you need to bring your arms from the back and you're going to sit over your forearms and you're going to move a little bit from one side to the other so again you open your arms and bring your hands from the back and as you're sitting you're massaging a little bit that's it very good move a little bit from one side to the other you can close make fist and open your hands a few times and slowly release Roll up, one bone at a time, one vertebrae at a time. Reaching the arms all the way up. Bring your hands together in the center of your chest and bring your feet together. Let's do a few rounds of sun salutation. Okay, good. Inhale, reach arms up, look up, lengthen the spine. Exhale, go down, hands to the floor. Step your right leg back, shoulders back, look forward. Hands down, plank pose. Slowly knees down, chest and chin. Inhale into a cobra, shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step your right foot forward between your hands. Look forward. And bring your left foot forward, feet together. Inhale, come all the way up, rise up. 
lifting the chest. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. Inhale, arms all the way up, look up. Exhale, go down, hands to the floor. Step your left leg back, move your shoulders back, look forward. Plant your palms on the floor, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin down. Inhale into cobra, move your shoulders back, bend your elbows, shoulders back, and exhale, downward facing dog. Step your left foot forward between your hands. And right foot forward, feet together. Inhale, come all the way up, rise up. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. Inhale, arms all the way up, look up. Exhale, go down. Right leg back, and now reach arms up. Lengthen the spine, look to your fingers. Hands down, plank. Now you need to hold the plank, pushing the palms into the earth. Straight your arms, engaging the abdominal muscles. Tailbone is pointing towards your heels, strong legs. Exhale, knees down, chest and chin. Inhale into cobra, shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step your right foot forward between your hands, reaching the arms up, look all the way up. Hands down, left foot forward, feet together. Inhale, come all the way up, rise up. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, go down. Left leg back, arms all the way up, look up. Hands to the floor, plank. Again, begin to hold the plank, come to the balls of your feet, push your palms into the earth. Engage in the abdominal muscles, breathe. Slowly bring your knees to the floor, chest and chin. Inhale into cover, shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step your left foot forward, place your back knee down, reaching your arms all the way up, look up. Hands to the floor and step your right foot forward. Inhale, come all the way up, rise up. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up, look up. Exhale, go down. Breathing, lengthening halfway. Exhale, bend your knees, plant your palms on the floor, step back, plank pose. If you're ready to jump, if you'd like to jump back anytime. Now hold your plank, pushing the palms, breathing in, breathing out. With your next exhalation, Chaturanga, or knees down. Inhale, lift your chest into upper dog, shoulders back. And exhale, downward facing dog. Now begin to stay in the downward dog. Spreading the fingers, shoulders are moving away from your ears. Keep watching your breath in and out. Very good. Now raise your right leg up. Toes are pointing to the floor. Keep your hips aligned. Very good. Bend your right knee. Bring your thigh towards the chest and shift it forward into your high plank. Now from here, you're going to place your right knee on the floor. And now push the palms and again, engage the abdominal muscles around your spine. One more time like that. Knee down and use the abdominal muscles, push the palms into the earth. Raise your right leg all the way up again. Step your right foot forward, come into warrior one. Lift your chest, arms up. Lifting the chest, yes. Engaging the abdominal muscles, maybe bring the palms together, look all the way up. Very good. Slowly bring your hands to the floor, twisting all the way to the right. Take the back toes under, raise your right arm up, look up. Keep pressing the left palm into the ground, engage the left leg. Now nice and easy, bring your right hand to the floor, left knee down. Interlace the fingers behind you, stretching your arms back. So now you're really moving your shoulders back, creating space for your heart to move forward. But keep engaging the abdominal muscles. Very good. Gently looking up. Slowly release, place your hands on the floor, tuck your back toes under and lean back. 
flex your right foot, just straight your right leg. And again, I want you to use your fingertips, activate the claw hands and press your fingertips into the floor, lengthening the spine. Imagine that the, you're lengthening the spine and the nose is moving towards your big toe. Drawing the navel in as you're folding forward. Slowly shift it forward. Plant your palms on the floor, plank pose. Go down, Chaturanga. Inhale, lift your chest, upper dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep inhalation here. Exhale. Now raise your left leg all the way up. Toes are pointing to the floor. Feel the energy that's moving all the way back. Now bend your knee, bring your thigh towards the chest and flow into your high plank. So you really feel that you're pushing the palms into the earth and engaging the abdominal muscles. Now bring your left knee to the floor. Now let's engage in those abdominal muscles again. Press the earth around your spine as high as you can. Bring your thigh towards your chest. Again, bring your knee to the ground. And push, 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 lift your knee again. Thigh towards the chest. Raise your left leg all the way up. And step your left foot forward. Warrior one, back heel on the ground, lift your chest. So the idea is to move your left hip back and your right hip forward. Bend your left knee, reach the arms up. If you can, palms together, look up. Don't forget to engage the abdominal muscles. And of course, breathe. One more breath here. Hands to the ground, twisting all the way to the left. It's like your right toes under, raising the left arm up. See, check if your neck, you can really gaze all the way up if it's okay for your neck. Slowly bring your left hand down, right knee to the floor. Crescent moon variation, interlace your fingers behind, stretching your arms back, bring the shoulder blades a little closer together so you're really creating space for your heart to move forward. Very good. Lengthen the back of your neck, look a little higher. Slowly release, bring the hands down, tuck your right toes under and lean back. Straight your left leg, flex your foot. Engaging the fingertips to start really strengthen the fingertips and lengthen your spine. Remember, if you catch yourself around the spine, go a little higher, but lengthen the spine from the base of the spine to the top of your head. Slowly shift it forward, palms on the floor, and again, plank pose. Find your plank, press the palms. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upper dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. So remember, all the time when you come to downward dog, feel free anytime to rest in child's pose if you need. Stay in the downward dog.